May I welcome the producer of the documentary Children of a Genocide, Shahen Bekavian. Shahen, welcome. Um, if you could please firstly tell the viewers a little bit about yourself and what connection you had to your Armenian heritage prior to the production of this documentary. Well, um, as a child, um, up until I think it was 12 years old, I was going to uh, Armenian school on Saturdays. Um, but my parents were a uh, little further out than um, the local Chatswood, Willoughby, Ride uh, or Fairfield uh, communities. So we went to an Aussie school when we were kids. So we were kind of uh, didn't know which way we were going and we didn't really like the Armenian school. Um, so after the school ended, we were also going to scouts and cubs. We did all that. Um, we didn't do much sport. Um, and after year six of Armenian school, we, we kind of went our own way. Um, and I, kept in, I, I didn't keep in touch with um, any friends from there, so quite distant from the community. I would go to you know, um, weddings, funerals, um, and see some relatives there, but um, not really going to any so social events after that. And I'd been to Armenia as, as a kid, I think I was eight years old again, and um, in 2000 I went to Armenia for about two weeks and met my relatives and it was a beautiful time. I got in touch with uh, a lot of, uh, just felt like I was at home when I was over there. Um, and for the last, um, I don't know, 10 years or so I've been researching a lot to try and make something, uh, make some kind of film. Um, so I've been slowly getting a lot of history under my belt. Um, and it was a big uh, lead up to making this film in the end. And for years now I'd been researching the, uh, the Turkish-Armenian uh, uh, conflict uh, on the genocide recognition um, and trying to come up with a story uh, for this film. And eventually it, 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 uh, it culminated to the making of Children of a Genocide. What inspired you to go ahead with such a production? Well, interesting that uh, I had made uh, a short about uh, my grandfather from the uh, ANC archives. The first time my grandfather, that I saw him talk about his uh, struggle when he was a child during the genocide as an orphan, was on one of the ANC archive tapes. Um, and I'd never heard him talk about it. He started crying and I just felt it um, and I knew I had to do something about that, uh, that story. And so I made a short film, 10, 15 minute short film um, called Genocide Memoir, um, which told his story of how he came here. Uh, but then there were also there were another 40 archival tapes which were sitting here um, in, in, in Sydney of stories that hadn't been told or uncovered and no one had seen these. So I just wanted to expose these stories um, and I wanted to get in touch with the people that were in my position, grandkids or great grandkids of those survivors on those tapes and um, tell the story as, a f as the community, probably what they all been wanting to try and um, share and tell at the same time. You uncover archival interviews of almost 40 survivors. Mm -hmm. So who, they disclose their raw stories comparing current struggles of um, retaining their ancient culture from assimilation. What was it like digging up the archival footage of the descendants of the genocide survivors featured in the film? Well, I can tell you it was heart-wrenching. Um, and it took a lot of bottles of wine to get through those nights um, in my studio alone, thinking of what these people went through. Um, the detail that some of them could uh, graphically describe what what happened to them um, it I, I could feel the story as they were living it through the events and the shocking times um, that they were describing um, the blood the carnage the losing of of of, of your sister and watching them being um, molested and, and then killed in front of you as a child, can you imagine how long that scars you? Um, and I felt the scars growing inside of me while watching it. And I remember a story about uh, Oskar Torosian, which I believe is your surname, um, about uh, he, he was a young child, maybe four or five, and he was living with his mother 
and his baby sister uh, and his father had been killed and the Turks came looking for him. Um, and they hid under the, the wooden floorboards um, as the Turks were going through rummaging the house looking for the, the people that lived there. And the baby started crying and making noises and the mother couldn't do anything except give the child uh, a little bit of opium to sedate because at that time opium was in, around um, and they used to use it as medicine um, and the child died in the mother's arms while trying to keep them quiet um, and you know that was just the beginning of what they went through and the beginning of um, their daily lives for the next I don't know year or so living out of um, um, on the road uh, with no hope or no, no, no chance of survival. That was just the beginning. Tragic stories. Um, and all of the stories uh, of the 40 survivors went on about stories like that. And it doesn't end at the 40 Sydney survivors. It's about the global um, Armenian um, diaspora around the world. They all went through it. These are just uh, particular examples. What can we expect from this film and what do you wish to achieve out of screening this film to an audience? Well, it's an, it's an expose of our culture. Um, it's different stories, happy and sad, uh, about our uh, history, about our um, elders and what they've got to pass down to us. Um, I'm hoping that uh, it, it creates a lot of hope and connect, connection to uh, our heritage and inspires our youth to... Uh, to get in touch with their history and maybe one day, um, 30 years from now, uh, they can make a film based on this and, and see the progress of the, uh, the people that I've interviewed. But it's not a story just for the Armenian community. I'm hoping to reach the wider audience. Uh, it's relative to, uh, it's relevant to the Australian community because it looks at how uh, the, the minority Armenian community in Australia struggle to survive and uh, maintain their, their culture within a multicultural Australia. Uh, it looks at how we, um, how people deal with uh, war crimes and how they survive generations on um, about, um, uh, out of such uh, harsh conditions. Shahin, I'd like to conclude by congratulating you and thanking you sincerely for producing this documentary and allowing the Australian Armenian community to have a documented snapshot of the achievements um, and struggles that we have previously faced and continue to face. So I know it will be appreciated and um, viewed for many generations to come. Uh, Children of a Genocide premieres in Sydney on the 31st of July at 6pm at Event Cinemas in Top Ride. From Armenia TV, Garine Torosyan.